artists in Letcher County are coming together in hopes of creating an artisan center for the area. WYMT's Sarah Anderson was there tonight to find out how and why they believe this should happen. A place of art and history. People are finally starting to realize what talent we do have. Uh, it's not something that has been recognized, I don't think. I, and I think it's time. The idea is to bring all these things and display them in one artisan center. Brushy Fork sees the arts as one avenue for community development um, so that um, folks, you know, it's not the only way that people can make a living in communities, but this could be one way that we're, where we've got a passion in this community for people to actually do the development around the arts. Mike Dixon built this guitar with his own two hands. He says the tree was over 500 years old. This place has all of these things, but it's not just the talent uh, that's, that's here. It's also the materials that are here. And so I built this guitar all out of wood that came from right here. These artists are searching for grants in order to put their plan into action. And Morgan says this group has what it takes. I do you think they have the energy it requires? And I see talent there, you know. They Dixon says Appalachia has more than just talent. Most of this stuff has a history and a reason and a purpose and it's worth more than just a piece of wood. It becomes a piece of beautiful art. The idea of this center is just a vision, but... I, f I feel like if we don't try it all, we're already a failure. We've got to try to achieve. Hoping to keep art in the mountains, Sarah Anderson, WYMT Mountain News. And the group plans to rely on fundraisers, scholarships, and grants for funding the center.